अरे डी मत करना अगर डेटा इंजीनियरिंग में जाना है वरना कोई फायदा नहीं होगा प्रोजेक्ट्स बनाओ और डी मत करो इन चीज़ों पे ध्यान दो उन चीज़ों पे मत ध्यान दो सो देर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स आउट देयर ऑन द इंटरनेट पीपल आर सेइंग सम पीपल विल से बेसिकली टू लर्न डी सम पीपल विल से नॉट टू लर्न डी सो आई ऑल्सो मेक यूट्यूब वीडियोज आई मेक इंस्टाग्राम वीडियोज एंड ऑल आई आई पोस्ट मेनी ओपिनियंस एंड ऑल सो बेसिकली टूडे फर्स्टली लेट मी बी वेरी गिले आई माई नेम इज अनुराग श्रॉस आई एम डेटा ब्रिक सर्टिफाइड डेटा इंजीनियर आई एम अ प्रोफेशनल डेटा engineer certified professional data engineer so basically i'll be sharing my experience my interview experience additionally i i have been taking many interviews lately i have taken about 70 75 interviews in last past 1.5 years so i'll be uh, sharing that experience also what kind of uh, skill test do we do and also there are many types of the company that we apply for data engineering roles so i'll be very clear uh, i'll be very clear across the video and also i'll try to share the things that will like erase your confusion whatever confusion you are having whether you are working professional whether you are fresher whatever you have like interview dene ja rahe ho whatever confusions you have ki kya pucha ja sakta hai is company mein kya pucha jayega so those all things also i'll be clearing off so let's start with the video that very uh, very first thing let's start with the harsh truth that is basically whenever you go for a data engineering interview basically that is they will not test your dsa skills मतलब देर आर सम काइंड ऑफ कंपनीज आर देर डेफिनेटली सम प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनीज दैट ऑल्सो प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनीज बिकॉज आई हैव गिवन इंटरव्यूज फॉर प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनीज आई हैव गिवन इंटरव्यूज फॉर फॉर सर्विस बेस्ड कंपनी फॉर डेटा सोल्यूशन कंपनीज सो बेसिकली लेट मी बी वेरी क्लियर अबाउट द थिंग्स दैट इज इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू फर्स्टली ट्राई टू फिगर आउट विच काइंड ऑफ कंपनी यू आर गोइंग फॉर की अगर इंटरव्यू है तुम्हारा तो विच काइंड ऑफ कंपनी इट इज वेदर इट इज अ प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड वेदर इट इज अ सर्विस बेस्ड फर्स्ट थिंग द हार्स ट्रूथ इज बेसिकली दैट इज problem solving skills are the most important whenever you are going for a data engineering interview that is suppose you are going for a round suppose a data engineering interview is there there are several kind of rounds firstly suppose you are going for a round and firstly the round focuses on uh, sql joins or how the select query works or how where you will use window functions how you will optimize using the cts or uh, whether uh, to use a indexing or not those all things second basically that is pi uh, pi spark transformations are very very important so exactly what is happening here no dsa questions are there but i am not saying that you should not learn dsa okay so whenever you want to build up scalable solution or optimized solution you should have you should have an idea ki exactly what is going behind the scenes indexing how index because indexing is also a, a hash map application basically how uh, how the indexes are getting stored how it is performing much better how the retrieval of the data is faster so if you want to understand in that pers perspective it is important to understand okay the, the dsa part but i'll say that uh, to start with basically as a fresher it is not much 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 important important but fundamentals is required to be uh, like you should know the fundamentals that is very very important second part that is basically where freshers go wrong that is they mostly spend their time on doing random questions okay doing lead code random questions and not showcasing their skills like they will not have any projects to showcase in their interviews or for the whenever a hiring is coming you should show some proof of the work whether if you will say just by your mouth or by your resume ki ha you have done some like xxx skills and done some this 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 uh, 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 like work it doesn't matter if you are not having a particular project to showcase in the interview you are not showing the proof of the work that is a biggest red flag and you can get rejected because of that also that is a problem firstly next thing on your resume there is no story there is no data there is no numbers you are just showcasing a number of skills and i have seen i have reviewed like i have been reviewing so many resumes out there for a fresher for the for a experienced person and i have seen so much of blunders please don't do those things it doesn't matter to have like hundreds of skills only if you have four to five skills in data engineering and if you are try if you are building some kind of product or a project basically not a product product a project simple project simple etl pipelines simple things you are clear you are clear about so many things in depth don't try to focus on the breadth knowledge try to focus on if you are starting with sql try to know more and more things about the sql because of, there are so many concepts that are very very important so that is the thing other thing is basically you are not making your visibility on the linkedin try to 
make visibility try to post on the linkedin try to be regular on the linkedin it helps a lot it helps a lot and actually what works basically i'll tell you basically what works whenever you uh, like uh, try to learn something like some business use case or something like that try to uh, make some queries or write some queries try to solve some questions like complex queries with optimization do something in pyspark if you are learning like data frame joins and aggregations do those all kind of things other than that if you are learning cloud databricks is one of the cloud that is uh, a free edition is there directly you can go and use the spark on that directly it is installed it is for free you can install it and you can use the compute for free they give us serverless compute as of now uh, for free edition directly go there install it use it try to make some kind uh, sort of projects and definitely it will help you a lot in the interviews that is very very important you will understand about what is delta lake you will understand how the workflow automation works orchestration how the workflow orchestration can be done those all things you can take some hands on building some kind of project like one or two etl projects if you uh, make some api ingestion you do and right till the reporting layer you are clear of so many things that is very important whenever you are focusing on a job description project al al alignment is also very very important so ye sari cheeze bahut zyada important hai so real life scenarios if you are going for any kind of job say like any kind of interviews you are going try to build that kind of project and when you explain those kind of projects in the interviews it becomes very very easy for you to crack off the interviews because you are showcasing that exactly proof of the work you are showcasing you are showcasing you have worked on those skills that is very very important other than that if you want to learn these all things how data engineering can be done how exactly if you are a fresher if you are a working professional it's say 10 years of experience also you want to switch to data engineering it can be done but you need a proper strep or a proper process so in the layer description you will get a proper link of my own data x boot camp that is a boot camp basically that is end to end data engineering if you want to learn from the scratch from the zero already we have 150 plus students and in that there are working professionals there are like people who have a career gaps there are people who are freshers there are people who want to get into a uh, data engineering from a non it background definitely it is a very good high paying field 100% you can get into it and i guide across the things like we have live uh, uh, live classes on weekends other than that we have all recorded self paced things directly you can go any time because for the working professional it becomes very difficult to like be uh, uh, attend all the classes so what i did i made a crisp content on that and recording tutorials are there everything is guided whatever problems you are facing reach out on the community you will get reply as soon as possible i per i personally reply i personally engage with everyone so if you have any kinds of doubt any kinds of problems reach out in the description you will get a link also and also a support number directly you can go and contact on the whatsapp thank you so much for watching this particular thing and if you had the doubt ki ha dsa important hai nahi important hai so i gave that answer basically ki what you can do how you can do and yes dsa is important sometimes if you are going for a specific kind of companies so it is important so thank you so much for watching this particular video jai hind vande mataram bye bye